The murder retrial of Mark Howerton is now in its second week. He is on trial for the death of 19-year-old Trinity University student Kaylee Mandotti. And today the jury heard from one of her best friends. The jurors also saw evidence that showed where Mandotti and Howerton were the hours before she was taken to a hospital. Erica Hernandez breaks it all down. Concerned and worried is how Kaylee Mendotti's best friend described how she felt when she couldn't get a hold of Mendotti on October 29th, 2017. Ariana Conway told jurors about a previous instance when Howerton pulled a gun and threatened her and Kaylee just weeks before her death. After that incident, Conway says, quote, he was threatening to kill himself if she left him, and she said she wouldn't be able to live with herself if he did. Later in testimony, the jury heard from a Guadalupe County Sheriff's Office investigator who helped Texas Rangers analyze cell phone data and plot where Howerton and Mendotti's phones were on October 29th, 2017. The cell phone data for Howerton first starts near Trinity University at 2.37 p.m. Then around 3.42 p.m., he is shown near Nelson Wolf Stadium where the Malaluna Festival was taking place. At 4.05, his location moves toward 281 northbound near the corporate Whataburger headquarters across the quarry. The phone signal stays at this area for a while, and that is also where Mandati's phone starts showing up. It isn't until around 7.14 p.m. Howerton's signal moves off 410 near the airport. Then around 10.39 p.m., Howerton's phone is located off I-10 near Luling. These locations would dispute Howerton's first version of what happened after leaving the music festival and doesn't answer why he drove around for so long before showing up at the Luling Hospital with an unconscious Mendati. The state can be close to wrapping up. They could rest as early as tomorrow, and then we will see who the defense calls up to the stand. If found guilty, Mark Howerton is facing up to life in prison. At the Kathina Reeves Justice Center, Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News.